What's going on, world? It's your boy Big Chips here at BusinessChips.com and the Diamond Dream Team. Today, we're going to be talking about the law of use. <laughs> All right, family. If y'all don't know what the law of use is, it's basically just saying that if you don't use it, you lose it. And that that's very true case in point in everything that we do because you know you think about education, you think about all these things you learned in school and a good example of this is when you say to your child your child comes up and says, "Hey, how do you do this?" and you look at it and you go, "Oh my gosh, I don't remember. I haven't done that since I was in school." Gone, right? So the law of use is saying the same thing. If you don't use what you've got, you're going to lose what you got. And you know, the story really comes from the Bible when it's talking about the master was giving out talents as he went away to three of his servants. You know, to one servant he gave ten, to the next he gave five, to the other he gave one. Now, the talents is like gold. It's like a monetary value. And... It's said to be, from what I understand, I haven't really scoped it out, it's saying like a year's pay or something for each talent or so, something along those lines. So it's a it's a heavy monetary value. And this is a good lesson because you got to understand what happened is he gave these servants talents. You know, to the one he gave 10, that guy went out, he traded, he bartered, he moved, he was moving product left and right, and he invested and he invested that talent, all 10 of those talents, and thus recouped double what he had. New guy who had five talents, same thing. He went out and he traveled and he sold stuff, to trade stuff, to buy stuff, to sell it again, and he doubled his talents. The third guy with the one talent said, well, this guy, oh, he's, he's harsh. This is a harsh lord. This guy's going to... You know, this master, he's, he's a hardball. I don't want to lose this one talent that I have. So he buried it. He didn't use it. The moral of the story, the master comes home, and to the guy with the ten talents, basically said, what did you do? Said, Sir, master, this is what I've done. I took your talents, and I doubled them. You are a very useful person. Or as my son says, you're a very useful engine. You know, prosper and prosperity is upon his head. Went to the guy with five, same story. I doubled what you gave me, master. Here is your ten talents now. You know, prosperity above his head, abundance. Went to the last guy, what'd you do? Oh, well, you know, I was scared. I, I, got, I got fearful. I didn't want to invest in that, although I knew... And I know I've got to invest with what you give me, and I gotta do something to make something, but I couldn't do it, so I backed out. Uh, I decided not to use what I knew I could do. I decided to bury the talent that you gave me. Master looked at him and said, "You are a very slothful and lazy servant. You know, cast him out into darkness." took his talent and gave it to the man with 10. And it kind of goes in with what we're talking about here because we we go over rich people and, oh, what do they need to make more money for? But to whom much is given, much is required. But to those who use the talents that they have, more will be blessed upon them. The talents and the, the use of what they are doing will double and sometimes triple their anointing, their abundance over their life. And to the slothful, to the one who did not use it, you are stripped of your talents. You are stripped of the use. You are stripped of that which you had. And it, it speaks volumes because here are people that are in this economy right now that are investing in their lives, they're investing in the entrepreneurial activities or they're jumping into their own business small business online business networking offline online whatever 
and they're investing into their future, what are you doing? Are you a diligent, prosperous servant or are you slothful and lazy? There's your message for the day and let it ring. You know what I mean? Just like freedom. If you don't use your freedom, you lose your freedom. If you don't use your muscles, you lose your muscles. Yeah, everything will decrease. Law of use. If you don't use it, it will decrease. It will minimize. It will vanish. It will go away. If you don't believe me, let's do a 30-day challenge. Tape your arm up. Somehow bandage it, whatever, to the side of your body. Make sure it's the weak arm. You know, because you know your right arm or your, whatever one you write with, that's one you got to use. We'll, we'll give you credit. But the, the deal is, is take that arm and bond it. I, first, I want you to have something heavy. I want you to pick it up and see that you can pick up something with that hip. Make it heavy enough to where it's a struggle to pick it up now. I want it to be a struggle. All right. Then tape your arm up, bond it up for 30 days where you cannot use it. And in 30 days, see what happens to that arm. You won't pick it up. You lose that muscle. Message. All right. So it's your boy, Big Chips, with businesschips.com. Diamond Dream Team, baby. You better watch out. We're here. All right. One love. We'll see you on the other side. Make it a great day. I dare you.